you know, we only spend, what, a couple of billion dollars every year on research on, on one type of cancer and another couple of billion dollars on another type of cancer and another couple of billion dollars on another type of cancer? And nobody can come up with a... Well, you don't want to get me started on that, Jerome, okay? <laughs> but, well, we, we know it's true. In fact, in fact, I'm going to ask everybody to do me a little favor. In about three months, start looking for a book called Suppression... What's the title, Josh? I can't remember the title now. Spe Suppression of a Medical Miracle. Okay, I want you to look for that book because it's going to become a New York Times bestseller. I'll break my back if I have to to make it a New York Times bestseller. The reason is, is because it's going to outline uh, one of the greatest suppressions of, of a miracle that every, every person, every single person on the planet should know about. Every doctor should be weaned on this before they leave medical school, and yet it's been suppressed. So that's the second, second toxicity. Where are you getting exposed to this? Everywhere. You're getting exposed to this constantly. If you pick up an ingredient box of, of, a, of something that you're going to put into your body, something that you're going to eat, and you don't know the first three components of there, or you, there's three components in there that you don't know what it is, stay away from it. Just be safe. The rule is, people always ask me, how do I know if something's okay for me to eat or not? Very, very simple. God starts with G. G is good. God, good. If God made it, it's good. If man made it, it's mayhem. Man, mayhem. Don't consume it. All right? So if, you, if God made it, then you'll see it. It'll be like butter. Okay? That's good. Coconut oil. Okay? If it says hydrogenated something or the other, you know, or it starts talking about it, it has a chemical component to it, stay away from it. Very, very simple. If there's three or more, stay away from it. Ideally, there shouldn't be any, but if there's one, you know, sometimes you have to have a preservative or something in there, maybe one, two. If you've got more than three, stay away from it. If you've got like things like Twinkies, you know, that you can, that you can put on a shelf and 17 years later it looks exactly as delicious tasting as it does originally, you, you want to stay away from it. Yeah, if mold doesn't affect it, that's telling you something. <laughs> even, even the fungus doesn't want to grow there, all right? All right, so we've got the first one, heavy metals. We've got the second one, persistent organic pollutants. Number three, 